What should you spend your time studying right before you do either a technical phone screen or a in-person software engineering technical interview? That's the purpose of this video. Uh, I get the question asked a lot, um, everywhere from uh, junior engineers all the way up to senior engineers uh, and beyond, um, are very, very curious what the interview process looks like on both the tech screen and an in-person screen. So if you're interested in that, this video is for you. So first, uh, remember that when you do a tech screen uh, over the phone, you're not trying to get the job right then. Uh, the only purpose of a resume is to get to the next step, which is a in-person first screen. Uh, the purpose of passing that first screen is get to the next screen, which is usually a technical interview, the uh, phone interview. The purpose of passing that technical interview is to get to the on-site. Now at the on-site is when you are trying to get the job. So when you're doing a technical interview, you wanna show uh, on the phone side, you wanna show that you know what you're talking about. So speak confidently, uh, study the basics. What's arrays, what are hash maps? What are uh, link lists? You know, the, the foundational aspects of engineering, those are the things you wanna talk about and you wanna communicate those things very, very clearly uh, that you understand it. Come prepared with some uh, examples of projects that you've done and be able to dive into the architecture of those things as well. Now, when you get to the in-person interview, traditionally you'll have a, maybe like a half day, four interviews or so. Um, and during that thing, uh, you're gonna get typically some systems design, which talks about how would you architect a, a system, whether a large or small scale system, including load balancers and databases and, and servers and things like that. So I would recommend uh, studying some of those things. Uh, and then you're also gonna get evaluated pretty heavily on your coding. It's going to be uh, first some behavioral type questions. How would you respond to these type of situations? Tell me about a time when X, uh, et cetera. And what you want to do there is you want to show that you have good judgment, uh, good communication skills. Now, when you get to the coding section, um, they're going to typically ask you a question that uh, is not super complex. It's something that can be solved, uh, typically 20 to 30 minutes. And what people look for then is uh, communication skill, uh, ability, uh, how you handle ambiguity uh, and how you process these things. So uh, what you wanna do for those kind of uh, questions is come prepared, um, practice how you are uh, doing your whiteboarding. It's, it's a lot different than typing on a computer. So just you know, go through and practice that. Um, you be able to communicate the steps of how you're going to solve the problem, restate the problem so that you understand it. And what's very important is that you actually uh, ask a lot of questions and communicate throughout both the solving of the problem as well as before. Uh, so if something is unclear, it's okay to ask uh, those types of questions like, uh, you know, what do you mean by this? Or what's my input? What's my output? Uh, estimated scale, things like that. Uh, and then the rest of the time when you're doing the interview, um, you wanna communicate very, very clearly. It's less important that you got a, a completely optimized answer. What's more important is that you can communicate the reasons of why you chose the way you did. Um, and if you can communicate through the uh, the technical interview, solve the problem generally, uh, you're gonna usually get the odd job offer. Now there's a whole bunch more uh, that we can get into this. If you're interested and you're having a hard time um, getting an offer on the uh, whiteboarding, or you want to really dive in depth and get to know how you can improve your chances to get a higher paying offer, or get a job at a, at a more competitive, uh, larger tech company, uh, I've recorded an hour long course for you. It's on Amazon, links below. Uh, and it talks all about what are my tips, uh, what I look for as a hiring manager. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, uh, go ahead and check out the link below. And remember, when you're doing your interviews, communication is key. Thanks.